Happy Friday. Hey, it's Friday the 13th. I thought I'd give you guys a little video. Maybe this will give you some good luck when you are at a closing. So I want to talk a little bit about the buyer side of a closing and what you can expect there. Typically, a couple days before closing, you will get some sort of final figures from meaning what you need to bring to closing from uh, either your lender or more typically the title company. And I recommend calling the title company a day or two in advance so you have time to get the money to them as to what exactly you're going to owe. This is something that is kind of frustrating for buyers because typically uh, they kick the can down the road and people don't always know their final figures even before they go to close, they have a general idea. So I always tell buyers, and I, I believe the attorneys do too, is go ahead and add maybe $1,000 to the funds that you're bringing to close. That should be enough. And then if you have more than you need, the title company will issue you a refund check and you'll walk out of there not owing any money or being owed any money. Um, bring two forms of ID, one being a driver's license. It's a you know picture ID. Another form of ID is always good. Bring a copy of your insurance policy or receipt. That's never usually asked for, but attorneys recommend you do it. It's just better to be prepared more than not. Um, bring any money that you've agreed. Maybe you've agreed with the seller to purchase some things. So you're either gonna bring cash or a cashier's check for that. And then I always recommend if you have young kids, get a babysitter. This is really an important transaction. You need to pay attention. The attorney's gonna be spending a lot of time going through all the documents with you. So it's something that you don't do very often and you really need to, I think, have your undivided attention there. The other thing is when you get to the closing, usually if you're a finance buyer, the attorney will be going through the lending documents first. You'll get those all signed. Those will go to the closer who will then transmit those to the lender for final approval and uh, loan disbursements. And then you will go over the legal um, uh, documents that could be something like a survey, um, the warranty deed, things like that. If you're a cash buyer, the closing is really fast because you're not doing any of the loan documents, you're only doing the legal stuff, and a lot of times it's 30 minutes and you're done. So it's an exciting time for most people, but just be prepared and know what you're getting into. And if you have any questions on the process or real estate in general, my name is Jill Lasek. I'm with Beard and Warner here in Naperville. And you can reach me anytime. I never close. My number is 630-816-8701. And I'd love to hear from you. Any way I can help, I'd be happy to do that. Have a great weekend and take care, guys. Bye.